Welcome to our third European Regional Summit, which this is our 12th uh, summit in total uh, since we started. It's often a value to look back at history and learnings as we uh, map a path forward. So that's what I'm going to talk about today. This chart represents growth in three different areas over time, contributions, marketplace SKUs, and integrated solutions. When we started for the first three or four years, we focused on building a community based on openness and collaboration, which was new to the data center hardware space at the time. You can see in initial years, we were single digit contributions per year, starting in 2014. That began to ramp, ramped pretty aggressively, and we're now at the numbers that Mark quoted, 109. Uh, 189 total contributions, 54 companies. That's pretty awesome. About 2015, there was some growing impatience about the, the ability to adopt beyond the initial users. So there was a focus placed on adoption. What we recognized was it's hard to adopt specs. You really need to adopt products. So there was an emphasis on growing marketplace SKUs. And what you see here is that growth ramped pretty aggressively. Uh, we're now over 135 marketplace SKUs on our marketplace. We spent efforts getting that marketplace in, uh, there. What we've also now recognized is that it's, it's, we need more than just a bucket of parts. We really need complete solutions for our, for our adopters. So where do we go from here? We're going to focus on accelerating technology introduction. And what are we going to do there? Well, first of all, we've asked our incubation committee and project leads to expand their scope to help us project technology needs in the future, identify gaps to allow us to focus our contribution efforts. We've also focused on bringing product and, and technology to market faster through a variety of ways. Uh, you heard Mark talk about joint, joint development projects. That's one. We're going to have individual member companies take the lead to start that process. We're also going to run some of that effort through our standard OCP projects. Through it all, OCP will be supporting that effort and ensuring a seamless transition into the contribution process. We're also going to enable a robust supply chain of a complete product portfolio. Uh, we've, we've created an offering roadmap that identifies offerings into the future to help us identify gaps uh, to address. And we're putting emphasis on growing the entire ecosystem. And that's from supply, manufacturing supply, integration, and, and support. And finally, we're going to focus on making, making consumption easy, make it easy to consume our technology and use that technology. What we're doing there is we're focused on developing uh, a software ecosystem. Um, we're continuing to build uh, our offering roadmap, an integration roadmap. Uh, you'll see more about that uh, through the day. Uh, and we're really trying to focus on, on complete solutions that can be used. Uh, in support of all of that is ensuring we have a good ecosystem. So what else? Let me talk a bit about how, the, how we're going to develop the ecosystem. So we currently have RFI in process today where we're looking to try to find partners that can help us develop white box OCP products off of contributed design that support channels and all users. Um, we're also investigating the opportunity to potentially invest with our ecosystem partner to co-invest with our partners uh, to accelerate our growth and improvement. And we're also then going to follow through uh, with the same RFI approach with services and other functions over time, so we have a complete ecosystem. We've recognized we can't do that ourselves, just by ourselves, so we're, we're focused on partnerships, and you're going to hear more about some of those today with a telecom info project, as well as Open Networking Foundation and others. We're also continuing to develop our brand and our trademark. I'm proud to say over the past three years, we've established 10 trademarks in more than 60 countries. That process, as you know, takes a while, one to two years. So the, the state of those registrations are different, are vary by country. So kind of in summary, we feel as if we've come a long ways. We've made a lot of progress, but we have a lot 
left to do. And we recognize we can't do that alone. We have to do that by being open together. So we ask you to reach out to us, the foundation team, as well as other community members, and let's talk about that over the next couple of days. Um, so thanks very much. I'd now like to introduce our Chief Technology Officer, Bill Carter.